point and shoot programming in part five, checking joins. Suppose we have a data set that has baseline in it and we want to add that baseline to visit one and visit two. A uh, way to do this and avoid, we also want to avoid many to many joins. So let's run this code, which will do the join. What's important here is that this baseline data set not have any duplicates on new subject on subject ID. So we won't generate any uh, like Cartesian uh, products. So what we do is we, if we do a count H on new subject ID for the data set baseline, we shouldn't get any duplicates. We need that to be unique on new subject ID. So let's highlight baseline and let's run this code, this ma command macro, and let's paste it down here to see that we have uniqueness. And what we see, and I had run this before, so let's get rid of that. Um, there are 30 levels of new subject ID and there are 30 observations, so we're okay that join was proper. Now let's look at a compound key. Uh, we're going to join on visit and new subject ID. And again, what's important is that this glucose data set not have duplicates on visit and new subject ID. So we're going to do a join very similar to the previous join, except we're going to join on subject ID and visit. So let's run this code. And now let's, let's look at the glucose. The key data set is the is the glucose data set. So let's run a um, let's let's look at the unique combinations of glucose by visit and new subject ID. in the glucose data set. And what we see and I've already run it but let me paste what we just ran to make sure that I'm doing it right. Oops. The glucose must have mistyped something. So let's highlight oh I, I may have highlight uh, from glucose. Okay. U-N-Q-H-V-I-S-I-T. I must have mistyped something, so let's see what we get now. There we go. What's important here is that the number of unique subjects in each visit be the same. So the subjects are unique within visit. So the, the, the join should be okay. So this is one of the, one of the data sets in the join. The other data set is the have data set, and it has these combinations. It has baseline is one for one, but visit one and visit two have fewer patients and have duplicates, or basically it's a repeat SN equal two. And here's the result. The result is has all of the observations, which is what we wanted in have. Now, one thing you might want to make sure is we joined, but we know we have a repeat SN in there, and we want to make sure that on the repeat SN, we have the same glucose readings. And a very easy way to do that is do a source with a non-unique key. And then if I, if I list those results, here they are, um, and if I copy this, Actually, it was already in the paste buffer. So if I just put it here, we can see that we have those pairs of duplicates, which is repeat SN equal two. Actually, we could have kept repeat uh, SN, which would probably been a good idea. So let's add it here. see what happens. Um, uh, 
Okay, we can see now we have the ones and the twos, which is a little bit better. Um, so let's get, let's just paste it in here. It's in the paste buffer already, so let's get rid of this. So that's it. We got the same ones for repeat SN1 and repeat SN2. That's, that's the end of uh, all part fives and the end of this presentation.